Welcome back to Fox and Friends. Well, in the El Paso border sector alone, family unit apprehensions at the border have climbed 1,816% from March last year to April this year. Earlier this month, Border Patrol said it apprehends nearly 930 people there a day. And now there's a wall going up, a wall on private land. Chris Kobach joins us now. Chris, thanks for joining us. So, you know, there's been a lot of frustration over legal challenges and ways in which the government administrative state has blocked this president from building the wall. You are building it, and you've got an exclusive for us on Fox & Friends. Tell us about it. Yeah, Pete, this is the first time in American history that a private organization called We Build the Wall, but this is the first time any private organization has built border wall on private land. Uh, and it's happening right here in the El Paso area. And it's, uh, it's not just any piece of land. This piece of land is right where the uh, El Paso wall that separates El Paso and Ciudad Juarez, where that wall ends. There's been a half mile gap between the existing wall and Mount Cristo Rey. And it was a ridiculously large gap that uh, the smuggling of both people and drugs would go through. But get this, the Army Corps of Engineers said that piece of land is too rugged to build on. You can't build there. Well, we build the wall, prove them wrong. And the wall has been going up over the weekend. We've been building, we're working 24-7 over the holiday weekend to give America a, president, a present on this Memorial Let Day. Let me get this straight. So you've been spending Memorial Day weekend literally building a wall in a gap in our border uh, on private land. The wall's, is, is it almost done? Yes, it is almost done. And literally, we are standing in the gap and building the wall. Uh, it's extraordinary. And it's not just any wall, too. The typical fencing you see on the southern border where we do have steel bollard fencing is, is, is garden variety steel that uh, lasts only 25 years. This is all weathering steel that lasts 75 years. And someone might say, well, you know, hey, Chris, you're, it's a half a mile. Why, well, how much impact can that have? As you mentioned in your lead in, Pete, this closes a gap in the El Paso metro area, and it's far more important than 50 miles out in the desert where no one's crossing. There are, in a given night, uh, over 100 migrants will come through this gap, wow. and more than $100,000 in, in drugs will come through. Built with uh, private and phones so and donations right, to, to your organization. To we build the wall. And, and it's so important. We hear the bad news recently that a, a liberal federal judge is blocking the federal government from building part of the wall. That's why it's all the more important now, Pete, that uh, American citizens step forward like they have already, uh, contribute to we, we build the wall. We'll keep on building as long as people uh, keep chipping in. And, mm -hmm. and by the way, the average contribution's only been $67. Wow. But wow. so many people have chipped in. We, we've got this project. This is the first one. And we're already getting ready to start the second one. Super cool. Well, a lot of us were busy this Memorial Day weekend. Not as busy as you. Congrats, and we look forward to future progress. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Thank All you, right. Pete.